it's horrible that there's this amount of plastics floating around in the oceans. I really started to question if it would be possible to turn this horror into something beautiful and to reuse these plastics as a building material to create new habitats. So we just go with a group of volunteers or sometimes with a company into the harbor and then we just clean up the river banks. But what we also developed, floating baskets, which are just anchored in the river along the river bank and the water runs through, but the plastic stays behind. And for us, that's really an effective way of retrieving the majority of the plastics. There are birds nesting on our park, so we had some, some ducks which are nesting. These simple ways of making people enthusiastic. I think that that's, that's the biggest and the most positive response that we're getting, that actually the nature now or the animals are taking over our park. It's, it's really beautiful to see. So we started this project as a test case saying, okay, if we can do this in Rotterdam, then we should also be able to do this in Hamburg, or we should also be able to do this in Paris, or we should also be able to do this in Jakarta, or Sydney, or, or wherever. Just by putting the park in the water, it's not enough. We still see there is a growing industry in the plastic and the plastic manufacturing. Um, we still see that very much people, they, they use a lot of plastics in their daily life. So we really have to emphasize what this project is about. And of course, yeah, that also still to tell the story of the horror of the plastic pollution, that still a lot of plastics is still entering our seas and the oceans, and that we do have to find an effective approach.